What's good, YouTube? Never yeah, two here, back again, once again today, people. Today we are here for episode numero ten of our late night yellow Nuzlocke here on the channel. Late night yellow is a Pokemon yellow Nuzlocke. For anyone that happens to be joining us for the first time here tonight, late night yellow is a Pokemon yellow Nuzlocke. But we are we are here for episode number ten, and traditionally here on the channel. Every 10th episode, or I guess one, and then nine more later, 10, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, <laughs> which we've done before, but typically every 10th episode here on a channel in a series, here in a series on the channel, is known as an hour of power, and typically we're very loud, we're very boisterous. And you know, we tend to scream and yell and just let our emotions and our excitement and our feelings just leave our body, you know. But it's late night yellow. Shh, bring it down. We're a bit chiller here. Um, I want to give a shout out to the Italian guy for recommending that we call our hours of power here on late night yellow an hour of chill. And I think I'm down for that. So traditionally we have an hour of power. But tonight we have an hour of chill. In the last episode, we made our way here to Rock Tunnel. In tonight's episode, we're going to make our way through Rock Tunnel. But there's a surprise. If you've been paying attention diligently, you'll already know what it is. But if not, you'll find out here momentarily. So if you guys are hyped for some more Late Night Yellow, and of course, I want to show you support support supporting the Mappy Nation. Make sure to like button down below for us because you already know it is greatly appreciated. I want to spend a, I want to send a special thank you to all of you guys that have been commenting and helping and really being involved not just in late night yellow but in platinum and legends Arceus as well you guys it means a lot to me thank you so very much but let's get a quick team recap while we let the suspense for the surprise build up first we have Monty our sand slash level 32 rock and slash dig sand attack and cut up next we have Winston the pirate our kingler at level 33 look at that attack stat oh 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 the claws is dripping dripping in water ah. winston the pirate is rocking vice grip bubble clamp and guillotine up next we have filiberto the articuno level 30 rocking ice beam peck and rap i forgot i taught him rap we're gonna terrorize some pokemon with rap god damn then on next we have Major, our Raichu, level 31, Rocket Thundershock, Thunder Wave, Growl, and Crab Hammer. Wow, let me run into a Rhydon. We are fucking him up. Then on next we have Sasha, our starter, little Sasha Mama. Oh, Sashimi. Oh, my little baby. Oh. She's level 30. She's a Vulpix, by the way. What level? Rocking Amber Quick, Attack, Tail Whip, and Confuse Ray. And then last but not least, we have Karen, our Chansey. Look at that HP. Ooh, ooh, look at that special. <clears throat> oh. She is Rock and Pound, Double Slap, Sing, and Soup Statute. So Sasha, we're trying to keep protected. She is the baby for at least five more levels till she learns Flamethrower. And then hopefully in Saladin City, we can snag a Firestone. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I mentioned we have a surprise in today's episode. Have you guessed it? Did you figure out what it is? Oh, are you excited? Because I'm excited. So I saved Rock Tunnel. I'm actually very happy that we did for our hour of chill because we're going to go through this bitch for no flash. No, we ain't using no goddamn. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, we ain't. Hell no, we ain't using no goddamn flash. Fuck that. Yo, I barely tapped this beta button, and I went to the other side of the room. Okay. I mean, I figured, you know, it's late night yellow. It's late at night. All the lights are out. We ain't got the, the shit in the background and all that stuff. You know, we're just chilling, so why are we gonna light it up and do all that crazy shit? Fuck that. We're going through rock tunnel, pitch black, in the dark. In the dark. Monty is stealing crits in the dark. Um, the only real downside to this... Oh, this is our first encounter! Whoa! It's a Pidgeotto! Pidgeotto! <laughs> Fuck am I supposed to do with this thing? Anything I do from anyone is going to kill it. Actually, I take that back. Karen, 
<laughs> I want you to wail as hard as you can on this Pidgeotto. <laughs> Is that all you got, maggot? I want you to wail as hard as you absolutely can on this Pidgeotto, Karen. One more time, maybe? Never mind. We're good. Karen. Round of applause for Karen. You're doing the damn thing. I consider this power in the PC. I don't know about you. I think fucking Pidgeot is great. This Pokemon is full of vitality. It constantly flies around in large territory in search of prey. So, what do we name this Pidgeot? I think we're gonna name this Pidgeot. I mean, this Pidgeotto Xavier. A big Xavier vibes from that Pidgeotto. So, uh, you know, I actually don't think it's a horrible idea. Why do I always miss horsies? What the fuck? You know, that's not a fucking spoiler. I missed out on a horsey encounter in Platinum, Renegade Platinum. And now I miss out again. Whatever. So, what I was going to say before that first encounter is that the only downside to going through Rock Tunnel without Flash. Get the fuck out of here, you little bitch. You little bitch. It is... <sighs> Time out. <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. Oh, if only you had the fairy type thing, I'd be like, welcome to the team. Um, the only downside to going through Rock Tunnel without Flash is that I miss out on items. You know, I kind of got to like... I know there's a trainer here. Isn't he right here somewhere? But the rest of it, you know, I kind of got to, like, do off memory. Like, maybe? Maybe this is it. There he is. Maybe there's an item over here. And I'll probably click around and I won't get it. But I don't know. I just really don't want to teach anybody Flash. Anyways, the other thing I was going to say. You see me swatting at this fucking... I think it was a mosquito. A little teeny tiny one. We're in the middle of monsoon season out here in Arizona. Holy shit. Wait. Time out. <laughs> Put a pin in that. Monsoon season. Put a pin in that. Critical hit. This ice beam, bitch. How dare you decide to use anything near the level of the Pokemon that I have, asshole. Anyways. Yeah, we're in the middle of monsoon season out here in Arizona. I know everybody thinks Arizona is like just a giant desert. And it kind of is. Oh, there's Pidgeot in here. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I could swear there's an item down here. Where the fuck it at? Whatever. <laughs> Maybe if uh, if we check out the PC and we have somebody, ah, that looks like a fraudulent Kingler to me. If we check out the PC and we have somebody that can learn Flash. We might make a quick run back through here. Um, but yeah, everybody thinks Arizona is a big desert. For the most part, it is. It's hot as shit. But in the summer, we have monsoon season, where at this motherfucker's using dig? Get out of here. How is he not dead? Is he sand attacking me? Get out of here. What is it? Get, 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 get off the bicycle, bro. I want a super potion. What are you doing? But yeah, we're in monsoon season. <laughs> and... If you don't know what a monsoon is, I think I've I think I've probably talked about it on the channel before in a previous series, but it's like where from like one moment to the next, like literally in the blink of an eye, it is pouring down, raining. Like you would think you're like borderline hurricane. Like it is insane, insane storming, but it only lasts for like maybe 10, 15 minutes and then it moves on. So this has happened like every day for the past month. <laughs> hey, you think I'm exaggerating, but I'm really not. Like every day for the past month. Whoa, you have a fucking Venusaur. All right, <laughs> threat level has dropped back down. Yes, every day for the past month, it just pours down raining. And the thing about Tucson is Tucson is huge. What the fuck? Oh, there's a trainer here. I was like, what the fuck am I hitting? Tucson, I say Tucson is huge. It's not huge compared to other cities, but it's big enough to have, like, when it comes to these um, microburst storms, 
Like one side of town could be drenched in rain and literally you cross like one street and it's sunny. Like literally, it's crazy. I know everybody has crazy weather everywhere, but um, it happens so much because these little micro burst storms just move around all over Tucson. So I see them every single day. But that's why there's all these fucking mosquitoes everywhere. <laughs> I was wondering, why the fuck am I talking about microbursts? What the shit? Y'all just let me talk about anything, won't you? Damn. Um, so I'm noticing that certain members of our team are doing quite well, and others are not. Um, so I should get any experience on... Uh, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna keep Sasha in the back until the next time that we grind. Um, at this point in the game, she's a little behind. She's a little struggling a little bit. And I would really like to experience her full glory, especially considering that we have a grass type gym or, well, never mind, that's out the window. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna have next. But still, you know, we're right on the, on the cusp of getting a Firestone. So I wanna kinda keep her in the back. Karen. She's still kind of chilling. That's why I said we have a party of four. Like, honestly, we really do. I mean, Karen's good to get encounters, but... <laughs> that was about it <laughs> for now until we get some better TMs. I know we have amnesia. We have to teach amnesia to somebody. Maybe Filiberto. Let's make him like a indestructible and absolutely unstoppable ice beam machine. Even fire types. Even fire types are frosted over. That might be the wave, because he doesn't have a fourth move, so why not? I mean, rap would would not really make a difference, but I mean, that's just options. It's just options, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, who's he sending out? <laughs> I know. I know I'm swapping for some reason. He sent out a Porygon. Can we kill this Porygon, please? Fuck yeah. Alright, Monty, come back out and do your damn thing. Get this shit out of here. So, before I started recording tonight's episode of Late Night Yellow, I'm just looking for Trina and Joe. Like, challenge me, bitch. Challenge me. I want you to. Um, before we started recording tonight's episode of Late Night Yellow, look at Sasha getting some action. Alright. Bring your ass back out of here. Clean your ass up out of here. Uh, wait, I didn't see who it was. Filiberto, you gotta make my boy Major. Look at this. If you're new to the series here, you got to see everybody within the first 15 minutes of this episode. Check it out. Anyways, before I started uh, <laughs> recording tonight's episode of Late Night Yellow, damn, these motherfuckers just don't leave me alone. I'm Oko and everything you got, bro. This is not the team to play with. This is not the team to play with. Not this one. Not the ones I got now. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Y'all know how that uh, Arbok got slashed by that Charmeleon at Lavender Tower? That's gonna be Monty on that Arbok. 100%. I know there's a fucking item over here. Don't tell me there's not an item over here. Fuck this nigga ran. What the shit? I'm going up and down each of them. Whatever. Fuck your Gyarados, dude. Like, for real. Fuck your Gyarados. Fuck your goddamn Gyarados. What did we catch here? It wasn't a Gyarados, I'll tell you that much. Ugh. Anyways. Before we... <laughs> before I start recording... This week's episode of this week, tonight's episode of Late Night Yellow. I watch this week's episode of America's Got Talent. Hector got me on this shit. I'm telling you. Oh my god. But you know, it's crazy because number one, Sofia Vergara, she is one of the judges and she makes the whole show worth it. Just everything about her. She makes the whole fucking show worth it. Damn, there's a hit only here. I would I would not have mind using the hit only. I don't think I've ever used the him only in a let's play before. That would be pretty dope. That would be pretty fucking dope. Anyways, I gotta tell y'all, this little bitch ass mosquito is back. I gotta tell you, this motherfucker poisoned me. Damn. 
there is this group on this oh bitch I was not trying to do this right now I want to heal get rid of all this poison man. there is a group on this year's AGT called Chapel Heart and if you know the song Jolene by Dolly Parton their first audition, they did a sequel, like a response. It's called You Can Have Him, Jolene. And oh my God, I was blown away. Like, are you fucking serious? Never in a hundred million bajillion years did I think I would ever be bumping some country. Well, I take that back. There's a couple country songs, especially some, especially some old school shit that I can get down with but never in a million years are you being serious we don't have an antidote right now are you being serious am I seeing this correctly how do we end up in this predicament <laughs> what what are we being for real I mean I think we're only one room away but I'm gonna swap him out for Winston. Winston the pirate. I mean, bro, you're already level. Do we have a regular potion? We have a heavier potion. Okay. You're already level 35, Monty. You did great things today. Do the damn thing. We're gonna get Winston to 35 by the end of this cave. And then I know there's a shit ton of trainers outside, rock ton of. Well, shit ton is not being very literal. There's like three <laughs> maybe four trainers outside of rock tunnel so filiberto can manhandle them filiberto and major can manhandle them and that'll at least get us to the next pokey center right that's the plan that's what we're doing and we got to heal along the way because we ain't got no antidotes god damn yo does it actually light the tunnel up no it doesn't it does it shows me but does it show me items? I'm not seeing any items. I mean, I'm just saying that I know that there are items in here. And I know that I'm missing them. Did I fight this hoe? When you finish your Pokedex, can I have it? Fuck off. What the fuck? All right, well, Monty, I hope we don't need you right now, bro. Damn, what the fuck did he hit me with? A bell sprout? Do we think Sasha can handle a bell sprout? I know we said we try to keep her in the back, but Sasha, can you do this? Sasha. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, mama. Little rubber. But yes. You thought I forgot. I didn't forget. Chapel Heart. They are fucking insane i think they're so impressive definitely go and check them out you can have him jolene but you know what's even crazier so like i saw them on america's got talent and i went to go check out check out their song on uh apple music and i went to their page to see what else they had and wouldn't you know it's a small fucking world they have a song with mickey james you know the wwe superstar um she took some time off from wrestling and she started a country music career and i saw on that page and i was like what the fuck like i've known about mickey james she's like one of my favorite wrestlers ever ever like ever since i was a teenager like in middle school i was watching mickey james in wwe loved her and this whole time i was like you know like six degrees of separation like I know about, I don't know Mickey James, but I know about Mickey James and Mickey James did a song with them. And all these years later, here they are on America's Got Talent. And I see them and I'm like, ah, what the fuck? Okay, wait, time out. He wants to learn Stomp? How come you don't let me see the stats of the move before I forget this shit? Um, I'm almost tempted to get rid of Bubble because I don't think I'm ever going to click it. I'm keeping it because it's stab, but I mean, I don't know about that, yo. I really don't know about that. Um, Clamp, I kind of like because it locks it in. His attack stats really high. Like, why not? Vice Grip is doing the damn thing, but I know that in later generations, Stomp is pretty dog shit. So, hold on. I know the audio cut out, but I want to. 
I want to verify my shit here real quick. Stomp inflicts damage and has a 30% chance of causing the target to flinch. Stomp cannot make a target with a substitute flinch. No shit. Um, so I guess it's power and accuracy has never changed. It doesn't make any mention of its power or accuracy. Um, it is 65 base power with 100% accuracy. So I'm pretty sure that vice grip is 55. I'm pretty sure vice grip is 55. 55 power, 100% accuracy. And in generation one, it is, <laughs> what the fuck? All right, well, Smoke On says, we don't know that fucking move. So, I think I'm gonna get rid of Ice Grip. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm gonna get rid of Ice Grip. Um, and hope that wasn't a bad move. In my 45 seconds of research, I hope that I made a very wise, informed decision. And I just want to say, hey, stop just stomp the shit out of that machop so must have been the right decision goddamn i just want to say i have very very vivid memories of struggling as a kid to get through rock tunnel without flash and i also have very very vivid memories of the time that i went through rock tunnel without flash and uh, you know we could unpack this even more and ask why did i not have flash like what the fuck you know like Oh, there's jinxes in here cool like I'm pretty sure that you can get to rock tone once you get cut and you don't have to get flash yeah because you get flash from the doctor uh, the aide in the uh, once you go through Diglett's tunnel so you go through Diglett's, Diglett's tunnel and have cut like do all that shit on SSN because Misty lets you use cut right and Surge lets you use flash so you can, without fighting Surge, do the SSN, go through Diglett's Tunnel, get uh, Flash if you wanted to. Doesn't make a difference. But you can get cut on the SSN. That's the part of it. What the fuck I'm talking about Diglett's Tunnel. So yeah, you can go to Vermilion City, skip Surge, go and get cut on the SSN. And instead of cutting the tree next to Surge and fighting him, you can go all the way back up to... Uh, Cerulean, go through, cut the tree, go through the route, go through Rock Tunnel, and come out here without ever fighting Surge. So I remember there was a time that I went through it, and I made it through, and I was so fucking excited. I was so happy. Like I, That's like core memory as a child playing Pokemon. Like the first time I made it through Rock Tunnel without Flash. And I'll be honest with you, like I saved this for the Hour of Power, and we are 20, like almost 24 minutes in this episode, and we're already done. <laughs> Oh my god, yo. Oh my god. Wild. I'm feeling a bit faint from this tough hike. So you want to battle? You want to get stomped out is what I'm hearing? These Pokemon here are so chunky. There should be a pink one with a floral pattern. Are you talking about Mana? Are you talking about Mana? <laughs> wow, she's protecting the future. Guillotine. How you miss, bro? How you miss? Bro, how you miss? How many levels higher are you than him? How you miss? Winston! You pirate! Or at least I thought you were. Peck him! Peck him! Let him karate chop. Peck him back! Excellent. So we have Winston the Pirate at 35. He woke up on the wrong side of the bread this morning, so he's feeling a little bit, a little bit uh, under the weather. Wait, hold on. I am going to, uh, shit. I know that we are right here next to the Pokemon Center, but I am going to heal him. And Monty's good to go as well. Cause even though he's level 35, we might need to rely on him, you know? We might need to, have him fuck somebody up. Oh my god, you're a pulley whirl. I thought you were a pulley wrath. 
Hey, bro, yeah, wake up. That's exactly what I thought. Let's try out the old Philly Burritos wrap. I hear their burritos are pretty good. Yum! A graveler? I'm not gonna risk it. We're gonna get rocked up. Do we test out? What ground type move does... What is an early ground type move in Gen 1? <laughs> I feel like it's just Earthquake. Um, Bulldoze is not a thing yet. Sand Attack? So he'll have Rock Throw, Sand Attack. I think Magnitude is Gen 2? I don't think they have Magnitude yet. Let's test out the uh, Crab Hammer. All right. All right. I don't want to watch. No. Oh, it was him. Oh my God, I thought that noise was major. Oh no, it would play his his cry. Oh my god, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What an ass. You're an ass, dude. Why would you ever tell your Pokemon to sell this drug? Hey, bro, trust me on this one. Die. <laughs> Run up there and totally kill yourself. Trust me on this one, bro. You got this. Well, we didn't get the chance to test out Crab hammer, but that's okay. Cause we're in the best town in the region. Look at how purple it is. I love it. It's delicious. It's dripping with purple. <sighs> Let me look at our levels. So here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. That's odd. Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? What a way to be, bro. This town is known as the graveside of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in Pokemon Tower. So here's what I want to do. I think... Damn, we got a lot of fun. Holy shit, wait, 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 wait. We got seven of these hoes. Okay, let's buy... 23 of them. I know we ain't got no great balls yet. So let's buy... 20 of them. And let's get... Just kidding. Just kidding. We're not getting any of those. We need these though, we need these, we need these for real, for real. I'm gonna buy five more of these just in case. Actually, give me five more of these too. Um, and I guess we're gonna get some more super potions cause, oh no, we need to save a little bit of ching lane for uh, when we get to Saladin. So here's the thing, here's what I'm thinking. So, I want to fight all the trainers to the west of Lavender Town. I would also like to fight all the trainers to the south of Lavender Town. There is an opportunity for an encounter south of Lavender Town, but I'm not sure if there's any grass down there or if it's only fishing because we only have an old rod and we know that old rod in this game will only get us a Marowak and I really don't want a third Marowak. So, if memory serves me correctly, I think the Great Rod is in Celadon? No, I think it's in um, Fuchsia. And then the Super Rod is in Cinnabar? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not 100% remembering. But either way, that's minor detail. If it's in Celadon, then we go get the Great Rod and come back here and get the encounter. Either way, what's important is whether or not there's a grass patch down there, which I don't think it is. I think that's further south and maybe even in a later game. But um, either way, if there isn't grass patch and we don't get the Great Rod in Celadon, 
then we don't get the encounter because I'm not going to get a third Marowak. That's the point that we're trying to come back to. So, the issue that I'm debating right now is do I go and fight all the trainers to the west of Lavender and the south of Lavender before we go and do Lavender Tower so that we are thoroughly prepared for the battle against Blue and whatever happens at the end of Lavender Tower as well. Um, I'm not sure, uh, some people in the comment section last time, and I forget your name at the moment, I apologize, um, but they were saying that, I'm pretty sure that I set this to 20% increase, <laughs> I thought it was 10 or maybe 15, no, 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 it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a whole 20%, which also sounds like something I would do and forget about. But it's okay. Um, but here's the real rub. No matter what order I choose to do it in, I want to do it all. So, I think what we're going to do... I feel like I have, like, a devil and angel on my shoulder. The devil is, like, telling me, go into Lavender Tower. Do it. Do it. Do it. And the angel is saying, like, no, you should go and grind up the rest of your team. Be safe. Just because you think you're appropriately leveled or you think you're a Pokemon master and you can handle this what if he has a Mewtwo and then all of a sudden everything goes downhill so I think I'm gonna compromise and do half and half I think I'm gonna fight the trainers south of Lavender Town right now and then we're gonna do Lavender Tower and then we're gonna fight the trainers to the west of Lavender and I mean, I guess that makes sense because at that point we're making our way to Celadon. I'm so fucking smart. God damn. I hate those horrible rockets. So this is the Cubone. You're the one that got your mother nixed. We'll say, yo, can I just point out this fucking rug? Look at this entryway rug. Are you getting Sully? Big Sully vibes from this? Oh my God. Speaking of oh, Sully I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. This is a weird connect. My synapses fire oddly. Wait a minute. Hello, hello. I am the official name rater. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? No. Fine. Come by anytime you like. Whatever. Ho. Um, maybe because they're both animated. Um, have you guys seen the show Password? I don't know, some of you guys are like, Nappy, what the fuck? Oh, we gotta go south. Hold up. Swerve, swerve. Hey, look, we down here. We down here. We in this bitch. Um, so Password is a game show. It's been on since like, uh, 70s or some shit. Um, hold on. You're not, you're pulling my leg. Hold on. Don't tell me. Route 12? Why does it reset each time? I don't understand. So I'm on Route 12, and then there's Route 13 down here. Okay, oh, okay, okay, as they bend. As it should be, as it should be. So Password is a show that's been on since like the 70s. And then I think it went off a while ago, but now they brought it back. And Kiki Palmer is the host. And it's weird, it's Kiki Palmer, it's hosted by Kiki Palmer, and it's starring Jimmy Fallon. So in the old show, they always had two celebrities and two guests, like contestants, that's the word. But in this show, one of the celebrities is always Jimmy Fallon, which I'm not mad at. He's he's all right, I'm chill with him, he's pretty funny. <laughs> it's not like I'm afraid to say I like Jimmy Fallon. He's pretty funny, I like him. Um, but it's just weird. But anyway, I don't know, me and Hector just got so into it. I don't know what it is about like, Trivial Pursuit and like board games and shit like I am fucking about it and we fucking binge the five episodes of Password that are out already I love it I love it I love Kiki Palmer Jimmy Fallon is hilarious and the new theme oh my god ah, I'm all about it definitely go check out fucking Password <laughs> it's on Hulu if you have it it has brought light to my day so I want to share it with you my Pokemon's ashes are stored in the Pokemon Tower. You can have his TM. Oh, I don't need it anymore. Because your Pokemon's dead? 
Absorb? You just gave me absorb? Hey, you know what? We have been waiting to have a, and you can't even learn it. Karen, what's happening? We have been waiting to teach you TMs and you cannot even learn it. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. Might just have to sell that one. I was really hoping to snag something cool from there. I was really hoping to snag something cool from there. Um, but speaking of television shows, <laughs> um, I know I mentioned this in an episode of Renegade Platinum, and I promise you, there's no spoilers here. That's the extent of the Renegade Platinum talk. I know I mentioned it. Yeah, what the? I know I mentioned it in an episode of Renegade Platinum, but did y'all watch the new, uh, Major, I need you to do this one, bro. I need you to do this one, bro. Major, I need you to do this one, bro. Like more, now more than ever, if you want this experience. Excellent work, Major, keep it up. Excellent work, Major, keep it up. <laughs> do we really want to test out Crab Hammer? <laughs> Do we really want to test out Crab Hammer? Um, hold on, let's think about it. What ground type moves does Rhydon know? Oh, this isn't a Rhyhorn, it's Rhydon. Oh my god, that reminds me of another thing. Hold on. Too many things to talk about. I mean... Monty hasn't learned shit. I don't think he's gonna know a ground type move. Let's test it out. Let's test it out. Oh, he's so fucking cool. He's so fucking cool. Top five Gen 1 Pokemon right here. Look at that. Look at that. And even Major wipes him out. I love it. I love it. Okay. Crab Hammer test was a success. It was a success. I know it's quite effective, but I mean, like, that's the time when we use it, right? Right, 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 right. Um,. I don't know what I don't know what's got me thinking about this, but I've had this thought in my head over the past couple of days of like from here on out, like every Let's Play or Nuzlocke that I do, I want to have a goal. Probably because I keep shouting mission statements at the beginning of every episode, but I want to have a certain Pokemon in every generation that I absolutely 100% want to use. And I think for Late Night Yellow, I think before the end of this LP. I really, really, really. Major, do your thing. I don't know if I got that mosquito. I saw him land and I felt him land, but I don't know if I got him. But I think for this game, I really, really want to use a Rhydon. I fucking love Rhydon. He just popped up in raids and Pokemon Go. I fucking love Rhydon. I always liked Rhydon. I like Rhydon more than Rhyperior, and I really like Rhyperior, but Rhydon is just so fucking cool. I don't know what it is about him. In my mind, he's like a perfect Pokemon design. He's a Rhino as well, which like makes him even cooler, because Rhinos are dope as shit. Like, I, I, I don't know what, I, it's one of those moments, I feel like I'm doing a top five episode right now. I, 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 I just don't know my, 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 my white Valentino bag. <laughs> But I honestly don't know what I like about him so much. He's just fucking dope. Rhydon is dope. So I think in this LP, if I encounter a Rhydon, I might go above and beyond to snag him. And I might even restructure the team. It's like the Hail Mary. You know, like imagine if you had a Nuzlocke, right? And I don't even think I'm stalling for time here. <laughs> imagine you had a Nuzlocke, right? And you had like one random thing that you like I don't want to say bet but like let's say you come up with one random thing you know like let's say I mean I guess this is betting it's gambling in one way or another like for example this battle let's say in this battle um, I know his starter is gonna be the same but the rest of his Pokemon are gonna be randomized so I'm going to bet that in Lavender Tower against blue one of his four Pokemon, I don't know how many he's gonna have, but four Pokemon is gonna be a Rhydon. And if that happens, you get one get out of jail free card. 
or a revival card or something like that where you can revive a Pokemon or the get out of jail free idea was like if you lose the Nuzlocke you can like boom get out of jail free and keep going or whatever but I don't think I would ever use that because that's kind of defeat the purpose of doing a Nuzlocke but maybe the revival mon or something like that but it has to be something super specific like that you know it can't just be I was gonna say the whole idea came to mind because of the Rhydon encounter. You know, like what are the odds that I run into a Rhydon? Like if I run into a Rhydon, you know, I and, and I end up catching him, then he's got immunity for the rest of the game. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad because imagine if you did a Nuzlocke in like later generations where there are more Pokemon. You know, like let's say we did Gen 5 or something like that, and there's uh, how many Pokemon in Gen 5? 600? 700? Something like that? And you said, like, I, if I encounter a Weepin' Bell or something like that. Not evolve a Bell Sprout into a Weepin' Bell. Like, your encounter has to be a Weepin' Bell. Like, if I encounter a Weepin' Bell in... Uh, what's the name of the forest in Gen 5? Oh, it's gonna be like Cyan Wood City for a couple episodes back. I'm not gonna get it, though. I'm not gonna get it right now. But anyways... Um, if you encounter a Weaving Bell in this forest or wherever, then it's got immunity for the entire game. It can, it can faint and you can revive it just because of that one thing. That's a dope fucking idea. Yo, I gotta start writing this shit down. Oh my god. That's a dope fucking idea. That's a dope fucking idea. I didn't forget about the other TV thing. Hold on, we're busy. We're busy. You know, normally I would just sit here. Fuck, I was gonna save the game. Because only you can prevent loss safe there. But I don't want to sit here and talk about it. Let's fight blue. Hey, Nappy. <laughs> what brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go. <laughs> this motherfucker is just rude. What the fuck? Oh, he's got five Pokemon. Who am I leading with? Filiberto? You want to peck this thing? Let's Ice Beam it. Um, so the other TV thing I mentioned on Platinum, uh, House of the Dragon just came out this past Sunday. And if you're not watching it, what you're doing? The only other thing you should be watching is this video right now. <laughs> this series right here. And if that was what you were doing, then hey. Thank you. Appreciate it. But anyways, yes, 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 yes. Go watch House of the Dragon. Um, I was actually pleasantly surprised with it. I was like, whoa. Okay, I'm kind of blown back a little bit. Not not real far, but just a little bit. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about any spoilers or anything like that. Even every week or whatever, I might mention it. I might do one of these like, you know, some shit goes down. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Blue, what's up with this team? Confused? No more. No more. Need you to step aside, bro. Need you to step all the way aside. You had two Geo dudes, bro. What a, what is going on here? I, is he late on the series? Did he just start with episode one, and he thinks that our team is still getting blown back by Geo dudes? Cause it's not the case, my boy. It's not the case. He's got an electrode now. <sighs> He's got an electrode now. Hold on, I want to check. No! Oh, you can't look at your stats in that screen anymore. Wow. Um, his defense is 97. And Major's defense is 54. This motherfucking little mosquito. Um, I'm going to swap to Monty just in case. Just in case he decides to end it all. He's trying. But am I faster than him? No! I believe in Monty. I believe in Monty. Excellent. I mean, in all honesty, he's tied for the highest level in our party. I don't think there's anyone else on the team that could do that. Because, um, I mean, I wonder what um, Winston the Pirates' defense is like. I'm sure his... I know Kingler has great defense. Um, well, greatest objective, but great for Kingler. He's got good defense. And... The only reason I didn't go out to him is because it's an electric type. Like, I don't want him to do whatever. But this motherfucker tried it. 
he fucking tried it. I'm telling you, for the rest of the game, every time we fight him, he is gonna try it. God damn. What, you stinker? I took it easy on you. You know, it's so unfair that I have to play a Nuzlocke when everyone else in the game is not Nuzlocke. <laughs> He's very clearly not Nuzlocke. How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. I can't wait to find the grown-up Marowak yet. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. All right, bitch. Be gone. Hope. All right, I'm gonna go and heal because healthcare is free in this country. Um, and we're gonna take advantage of that big time. Big time, big time, big time. But if my calculations are correct, I do believe that we have a <coughs> new encounter to make here in Lavender Tower whenever it may happen to show itself. Um, we have great balls. Hold on, let me. Hold on, our bag is all kinds of discombobulated at the moment. Let's let's uh let's take let's just take the moment. Sometimes you just have to take the moment to do the right thing and set up your bag appropriately. I know I'm pushing out healing items for other healing items, but certain healing items are more important. Get the fuck out of my face! And more prevalent than other healing items. And this is one of those moments. The town map, you know, like we don't really need it up here, you know? Burn heal, full heal. Uh, but you know what's so annoying is if you miss one item. <laughs> like that hyper potion. I would really like to put that hyper potion up here at the rest of them, but... We'll swap you here. So, Hyper Potion, Fresh Water, TMs, Town Map, Old Rod. Put you over here. Town Map and Old Rod just keep getting pushed further and further down the bag. But I like having the stuff that I'm going to use most often. You know, it's like MySpace. You have your five, you know, my top five items I'm going to use. Poison is most important. Super Potion, Great Ball, Pokeball, Bicycle, whenever we need it. Bada bing, bada boom. Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A silvscope might be able to unmask them. Oh, that's true. We do need the silvscope. Do we even go up here? Do we even get the encounter? All right. <laughs> we can't get the encounter. We can't. We can't do it now. Okay, well, we'll get the fuck up out of here. Bye. I know we have a Poké doll on the PC, but uh, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. Well, I guess all that shit talking when we first got to Lavender don't mean a thing. Because we got to go this way anyways. Stop! Don't be so mean to go fairy. Whoa, 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 bro. Your defense robes? How do you feel about this? A nine tails? I think we're gonna stay in. Look at what's to come. The best is yet to come. Well, we need to level Sasha up, though. That's the only problem. I love it. I love it. Crab Hammer on Major was such a good idea. Oh, it was a phenomenal idea. Um, okay, so we're going to put Karen up front. And we're going to cut this down. Because, if I'm not mistaken... We are now on Route 8, which is east of Saffron City. We gotta go to Celadon, though. Huh. There's no route between the two. <laughs> route 7, never mind. Route 8. Um, route 10? Did we miss the encounter on Route 10? Hold on. I know I just cut that bush. Uh, is there a patch of grass up here? No, that's just in later games. Oh, what the fuck? I should get my bag on back and platinum then. God damn. Alright, never mind. Let's do it. 
first encounter is hey I will take that I will gladly take that I want to sing what you mean it didn't affect him put him to sleep I'm gonna substitute too just in case my attack missed because he used kinesis once oh why you beat the shit out of him yo chill I just thought maybe he might have teleport. Bug, yeah. Hey, bug, yeah. Hey, give it to me, hey, bug, yeah. Hey, hey, bug, yeah. Hey, give it to me, say, bug, yeah. Give it to me, say, bug, yeah. Hey, give it to me, say, bug, yeah. Give it to me, say, bug, yeah. Bug, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that I turned off impossible evos. <laughs> I say pretty sure, and that's about like uh, 92% sure. Um, but you know, the only thing that's like firing through the neurons in my brain right now is to get rid of Karen and put this cadaver on the team. There's no dark type in this game, it's just bug. I don't think we have anything else weak to bug on our team. We don't have grass type, do we? I don't know. Um, I think we caught. Uh, Oh, wait, this is not dupes, is it? Am I getting my playthroughs mixed up? Is this dupes? Do we already have a Kadabra? Catching a cadaver and naming it Xavier. Yo, is my memory really degraded that badly? I'm gonna have dementia by the time I'm 30. What the fuck? Did, did that really just happen? Hold on. I have to go back. I'm really glad we didn't get a second encounter just now. Am I tripping? Am I tripping for real? First of all, Hold my balls. <laughs> Hold on. I have to deposit a Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, it's a Pidgeotto. What the fuck is happening? Yo, Doctor Strange is fucking with the multiverse right now. What is going on? <laughs> Who is Monroe? That's a cadaver. Okay. All right. All right. And he did have teleport. Okay. 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 So check it. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I didn't commit to that. Wow. This is kind of crazy. I'm going to withdraw Karen and I'm going to propose a solution to this situation. So check it. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. This is question of the day, part two. You know, the the real late night yellow fans will get to this point in the video. So my question for you is, well, let me lay this scenario out first. I feel like according to Nuzlocke rules, it does not matter whether you realize it's dupes or not. Dupes isn't optional rule to call out you know what i mean like if you completely forgot that you had caught a cadaver already but you still caught it it doesn't matter you still you still caught it you know what i mean um like you have to use dupes then and there it can't be like an afterthought like oh this is dupes i'm gonna go get another pokemon you know it can't be like that bro are you really trying to end me right now like this like i'm not just gonna peck you into oblivion get the fuck out of here bro um, so there's a part of me that's like that's how I should play it and I should just accept the cadaver which And I'll be honest with you. I am not mad about having a second cadaver I'm honestly not mad about having a second cadaver um, That's whoa Dragonite Already 
Already? Level 30 Dragonite? That's our first Dragonite we've seen. Whoa. Crazy. So, anyways, yes, I'm not upset about having a backup Kadabra, which, I mean, at this point, I think it would be safe to boot Karen off the team. No offense to her, like, I really, really, honestly would love to use a Chansey. Maybe if we do a Nuzlocke uh, in a future generation where she's a bit easier to prepare. I mean, the fact that we randomized it really kind of hurt us in that sense. Um, but that's just RNG, you know. Um... But I wouldn't mind doing it because we don't have psychic typing on the team, so that'd be kind of cool. Um, and like I said, you just have a backup cadaver in the PC, which in Generation 1, Alakazam's one of the best mods, so why not? Um, but I feel like on the flip side of that, there's also the idea of, well, it is dupes, so just go and get a new encounter. You know, like we only get so many encounters, so we just be chill about it and just get a new encounter. I'm kind of fine either way, but that's why I said this is question of the day part two. You let me know. And the realest ones will be the ones to answer this all the way towards the end of the episode. So it will mean the most. You all will know the most. Um, I need Filiberto to hit um, 35. And that would make it great because then we can just grind up the other two right as we're getting to Celadon. Or maybe grind up the other one. I don't know. It depends on that question of the day. <laughs> and we'll see what happens from there. Help me out, bruh. Help me out, bruh. I'm gonna peck this Machoke. A crit peck. Crit peck is taking down Machokes. Ah! Get him out of here, bruh. A coffin. Get him out of here, too, bruh. Level 35. Look at that. I don't want to risk Sasha. Everybody's level 35. Everybody is level 35 on their own. Dang, Monty's not playing any games, yo. He most definitely, most certainly, absolutely is not. All right. I think that we have technically accomplished everything and more that we wanted to in tonight's episode of Late Night Yellow. I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared near Celadon City. Yeah, we're gonna go wake his big ass up and see what the fuck he is. Wait, this is a new route? Route 7. Our encounter on Route 7 is... I swear to God, if it's a Kadabra, I'm gonna run from it, because 2 is enough. 2 is enough. Oh, please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Bro, why'd you poison me? I'm trying to give you a good home. Come on, bro. Bro, don't do this. Don't do this. I have antidotes. I will antidote away. Is he like stuck in rap? Oh, don't fucking matter. <laughs> it lives, it grows by absorbing dust, germs, and poison gases that are contained in toxic waste and garbage. All right, let's give a name to this wheezing. We've had a lot of new nicknames lately, but I think we're gonna go a little bit old school with this one. I think that's how you spell it, Sheila. I think maybe I spelled it before with an E-I. Sheila. Whoa. I don't know the difference between my I's and my A's. Sheila, that looks right. So Sheila, I'm not mad about that. I mean, I know it's a wheezing and it's Gen 1, but still I'm not mad about it. We could have got a Wigglytuff. Slowbro wouldn't have been too bad. Sand Slash, we already got. Whatever. I don't think we saw the rare encounter, but it is what it is. Whoa, we went way far past. 21 points of health. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> well, 
We got everything we wanted to get accomplished today accomplished, and we have made it here to sell it on City. I think that may just guarantee, oh, I was going to say guarantee a gym battle in the next episode, but I think we'll probably do Game Corner. We'll probably do some, sh some shopping in Game Corner in the next episode, so. Um, Late Night Yellow is a Monday through Friday series, or maybe a Tuesday through Saturday series, I guess, whenever you watch it. Um, so our next episode will not be until next Monday or Tuesday, whenever you watch it. Um, but I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with us. We are on episode 10 so far. We are just going to keep on chugging along, doing the goddamn thing here in our late night groove, our late night vibe. Um, if you guys enjoyed tonight's episode of Late Night Yellow, and of course, from the show, you support us for Prime Another Happy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know it's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for your love and light and all of your support. Until next time, be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye.